Yes, the game so, just started. But they're already, you, they're taking it. I think we're seven seconds in. We're sure it's Ten safe seconds back. remaining. We're sent with the hero. What about, what about the how many, how many seconds sample? remaining? What? Seven. But on the, on the other side, the Empire, or oh, sorry, they, they can pick, uh, like, a lot before everybody else picked Ember. I mean, there was a period as popular <laughs> Dave out. Maybe Vega has already come up. I like the shot of Actually, Empire is first pick. Just don't ban. Two kill points. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, since it's still on the point, as Vega leaves it, that you know they're gonna get either one of the two. But they can, whichever. Empire. First started out. Right What's your hipster new? So if you ten seconds remaining, he spends five seconds remaining. Dusk the items actually. If you know it doesn't have it, does, it does. you yeah. can choose when to. Ember spirit. I'm just being a devil. Dazzle. It's not like I'm seeing something. Usually you go oh, after eyes. But that's also yeah. because ten I seconds remaining. Four or three, like at, at least not as one of the five seconds remaining. We saw F reserve Queen time of pain. <laughs> just saw how just. I don't think. Shell on them. Sure. sure. So much stuff. Yeah, but there's screen is that too. We did see the Queen of Pain picked up higher though, and therefore remaining. space could still probably will be banned out. So we got a tough Queen of Pain on the side of Empire so far. Pretty aggressive. They've got a good start. I think. I mean, these two teams are both trying to fight, right? Mm -hmm. So depending on the draft, do you feel like one team? Try to fight less. I think I mean, having just allows you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very. Ten seconds remaining. You can support me. Five see, like, seconds you... remaining. That's why she can snow. Reserve time. One thirty-five. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> yes, but they did actually yeah, increase it. And they made it the same price as a, as a ward. There's a nice sucker. Dark Seer, by the way. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, Statistic. Like, Statistically, yeah. it sucks, five but seconds it's remaining. So annoying. It's just <sighs> So many start. So far, the Lena. There's your extra lockdown for the so fire low. side. So lonely. He's so good at that.
And lightning. <laughs> that's actually no, that's fire. That's like hot fire. Ten it... seconds remaining. Animation. All right, really? literally some animation. Five seconds remaining. I mean, or... so. Reserve time. I'm sure. I'm sure. Sir, this likes would have known. Sir, action. He knows all the law. Winter Wyvern. Because I, I thought, like, because because obviously, fire is blue, lightning bluish. I... Oh, she ran this one. My expert. Expert anime analysis. Slate. Slate. Yes. It's okay. No, no that's lightning. I know that. I know. That. She uses though. She screams. But what? Uh, higher pitch anime. Oh, I'm Play Doh. I never really listened to that one song. <laughs> In the Japanese version. Oh, okay. Definitely, she screams it. <laughs> I'm sure someone can can tweet oh. at us to see. Reserve time. Someone will trigger. know. It's really the. Which they kind of like. At least in the game that. Granted, it was. Yes, so, so you have. Ten seconds remaining. Quick stop them. So. Five seconds remaining. Seems like they is kind of the way. Reserve time. Anti mage. At the moment, Fire is gonna try to. Because I feel like Vegas is very. very a lot of Probably should try to go like. They just pick a man. So I don't think they can farm that, that's, why, that's what. That's why I said it's like. Oh. Tusk, because he wants to fight. It seems like it's not actually there. Yeah, but at the moment. Ten seconds remaining. <sighs> Scary. It's the same situation. The searing chain. There's still gonna be. Yeah, yeah I think that's. Devil. Just uh. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve Actually, the uh, majority got the, the animation. Yes. High using. Uh, which like it's such a good. You still pick. Chaos uh, knight. Are you really uh, gonna have your Amber mid? Like Versus yeah. safe one. Versus yeah, yeah, safe. exactly. Me too. So we're, lo be... we're looking at the last word for. I would say no. That that's the only one. Oh, well. No. I, well. I wouldn't say OP. I, I do like. Has a... They could pick Alchemist mid. The... Still, no one is still. He's still heroless. I think in expect a lot of slug. Yes. He's lagging like He's a decent lane. Actually, DK's. He's such a fighting. Which hero are we, are we gonna? I want to see for Empire, uh, assuming Templar that assassin. they're still in uh, the bank.
police now, nigga. Say, for example. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Sorry, what? Rubik. I like the Rubik. I need some more luck. It was mostly for, uh, for the luck. Or anything else. But pretty happy with Empire's lineup, but I want to hear from you guys now that we know the drafts. Who do you this first game here? You already said. Okay. Then we know that one. So take the percent with Ember. Well, I'm happy that uh, Shane made sure that I didn't. Was that good? Ten seconds remaining. So, because uh, I, I think uh, I think Vega is uh, the stronger team. I think they got a lineup Five which they're very remaining. comfortable with. Uh, we're gonna find out what our commentators think, though, because it's time for our first game here for the SRG Dream League. It's Vega versus Empire with Odi Pixel and Traskel. Prepare for battle. Indeed, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome over to the casting panel. Empire versus Vega. Game one has just begun with myself, Odi Pixel, and Traskel. And let's get ourselves into the game. So we're, uh, can still bust it. Yeah, right? it if you a, really want. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you're not missing anything I in think, game. I don't, I don't. They're saying, but I'm assuming they're. Asking let me, let me look for a remake. Remake. looks pretty good They have it. to ask for a remake, right? Ah, Bosmi Goritja. Alright. Pretty sure. Knee for ego, ne hot fish. I can't, that? can't oh. make heads or tails of any of them. Oh, well, if you want to say that about it. I didn't know it was already to that point. But, uh, I, I kind of feel every time we've seen the TA recently, it's been pretty. Guess us. All right, let's let's because get into the game now. Yoke. Yeah, for sure. Is this a mid -breathe? Is he doing it? Is he actually doing? It? Is he gonna just have no, a bit no, of a no, game? No, he's he started boost. Like the Aloha Dance is definitely solo roll. So yeah, so he started. Boost. Okay, we've got it. So Yoko mid. No, no, I just said he's not going mid. I just said he bought boots. killing the dream, Andy. He bought boots. All right. So Yoku, of course, uh, is is the player that has been recently for Empire. Uh, so it's Maybe. gonna be a low, a dance going. What? And the low dance, of course. He plays, I don't think we've ever seen him play mid. He plays mid a ton in ranked. Okay. Yeah. Like, but he, not in this. He plays support and mid, I think, and those are pretty much the only two roles that I I ever see him play when he's in a pub game. But I know that he's very mechanically skilled, so I'm expecting uh, big things from him in this game. And as far as the TA pick goes, I'm totally in agreement with you, is I, I really like it against teams with Anti-Mage, because if you have a good start on TA, roughly the same time where you could expect Anti-Mage to have Treads Battle Fury, yes. you'll have like Treads Desolator, and then if you get a blink on top of that, you can do some serious damage, and you can see a fight here. Oh, there we go, Light Strike. It's just gonna tickle resolution, here's the train, here's the low, that's what we have to get to the bounty, they've got the Telekinesis on, so now Ashi, Ashi, bring him in, Bella. See if this continues, the heal's coming out, no one. Asha and Seema trying to lower dust, it will blink up to the high ground. The live striker in onto Yoku, but they don't this time, so it is just going to be, of course, Empire themselves. Bottom rune and top rune was indeed as well, both silent and a lower dust, grabbing themselves the bounty rune, so a nice little bit of a cheeky start there for Empire, but lane wise, what are we seeing? Well, we're seeing the Shaker being played by Mag, he's going to have to go up against the anti mage. At the moment, a bit of pressure being applied by Yoku on this roaming Rubik. Aloha Dance is going to be on that. It's the TA, so yeah, Seema the Slayer is going to hang around, help out the TA. I mean, how do you reckon this mid lane is going to go down for the two sides? Well, obviously getting the bounty rune is going to give Aloha Dance a little bit of an advantage, but if he keeps taking trades like this, he's not going to be having a great time. Really want to go uh, 2v1. And he's... I mean, he's playing right on the edge yeah. of this crop. He's, he's going a little bit ham. And, uh, of course, the final lane down on the bottom, a little bit more. Fix to see one man. Resolution, of course, has now um, decided to play in the off lane role that mid lane to so normally Yoku. This game we're obviously seeing Aloha dance running. Right? It's going to be solo supporting Lena. Now he's going to be protecting Nine Pashi Bashi on that safe lane and the Spirit, who's uh, also got a Mango. Hey man, Mango Gaming. It's legit. I think that it's one of those things where 
it's just nice to have if you accidentally use your mana. Use it to push, for example, like if you guard and maybe help secure a bottom or stop the alpha. Always make sure that you have at least enough for like a, a sleight of fist and a chain, for example, because it's only 10 more mana, right? Mango gives you 150, you only need 10 more mana after that to have your combo up, and it can be very good for any offlaner. So Pasha is making sure that he's not going to be in a situation where he have the mana and also use the spells. The game's going to be back underway, and I feel like Vega with nope. the Dazzle. Yeah, okay, we're just... It's probably a little bit too soon there. Yeah. One team's ready. back into a pause again. Ready, the other team's not. It's fine, though. We can talk a little bit more about what Vega we can. are meaning do What's in the, the game? mid game. What is the game, though? With Dazzle and Mass Minus Armor, it's very easy to pressure teams like Empire. And because they have Ember and TA, sometimes it can be kind of dangerous having nothing but physical damage against a Wyvern. Because if a Cold Embrace just completely halts your damage up. It's true in terms of that. I mean, I guess it's the Lena that that's going to be looking to yeah. capitalize on people. Right. Ember is also fairly good. Yeah. You yeah. can just go next to them, make sure you chains when they come up the ice block. And... A really long time, and then of course you already mentioned Lena with extra great damage follow up in that sense. So I'm liking Vega's all around lineup, although you have to always consider that AM actually matches up fairly well against these heroes in the late late game, but there yes. will be a timing in where the yeah, TA is true. like ultra scary. It's, I mean, uh, for me, it's, it kind of feels like when the AM's got his Manta, then suddenly he's going to be set a bit more of an issue. But at the same time, of course, we could see Nine Pashi Bashi closing on the Battle Fury at some other time, so you've already yeah. got something to deal with the illusions. It's going to make the life a little bit harder for the TA, but still, you know, if you just get one kind of stun and you get a Fisher on that AM, you're allowed to follow up with the Blink Desso, uh, right click to the TA. You should still be able to do a pretty good job at making him uh, run away and at least force him out of the fight each time. And I, I feel in general, Empire supports have to do more. Than Vegas supports in that early game in terms of securing them some farm. Let's see, is this a potential courier snipe here from Yoke? Planet Smile with the. They know what's up. They know he's off the map. They're keeping it safe to the side. Or are they? They're, they're in the bottle, Matt. Looks like are they take no. They're actually going to take his straight. No, they're taking it around. They're being smart. He'll be seen though, I think. Yeah, he's going to dive across in. for this. Yeah, he is. He's. Oh! He turned the courier around, he knows. Yeah, the micro's there. Yoku won't be able to find it. So a little bit of wasted time here for this Rubicon. In fact, I'll see him on the Slayer's coming back for it. He says, hey, I found you. You have been rustled, and he's just going to trade hits here. Yoku's just got to back himself off. He'll be able to get away. But he's going to lose a fair bit of life points off the back. Yes, no. Attempt. And the mid lane, of course, 11-3 at the moment on Quapa. First blood. Actually going on, well, down here. Resolution's able to find a kill onto the Lina. Um, in a lane that I think, well, we were not expecting that to happen. No, definitely not. Not at all. That, that shouldn't be happening. I can... I can only assume that he got too close to the tower and got sharded and, and like blocked. That's realistically the only way you can die in a situation, and they might go on mag here, top lane as well. There is an illusion rune to tower dive with. There you go, with the right mouse silence, gonna blink straight in, start to get those hits through. Mag's trying to juke it around the tower. A little bit hard for them to dive. Your wyvern coming in as well, but. Now Zed's reached, now Mag's in trouble here. He's gonna walk straight into Yoki. Yoki lifts him up, throws him back. He's looking for a Fisher here. Yoki's fairly low, but silence there. More strike will do it, and they'll get themselves a second Radiant kill on the board. That empire to Yoku. That was very nice. Interestingly enough, I think Silence Blink actually ended up not killing the Shaker sooner because it made him take a path that was better to get away from Yoku. Whereas Silent was just going for the body block to make sure he didn't walk down. I think it would have actually been better if he went that way. But either way, they still get the kill. Very aggressive plays coming out from Empire, and this is what they need to do. Like I don't think it's okay for them to trade evenly in the early game because Vega's lineup comes online a lot sooner. So you want to make sure that your supports and, you know, your offlane are getting a lot accomplished here, and so far, Empire are on track. And it's Mag and Solo going very aggressive here, walking in. Yoku oh, yeah. gets a Dragon Slave to the backside here. Mag's going to try and chase you down. He's claritying up. There's going to be the Telekinesis nice. and the Cheeky Clarity Cancel here, so there isn't going to be enough mana he's here. Got another in two seconds, he has. Oh, oh, yeah, he's not going to be long enough anyway. Doesn't throw it out mid lane. This corpse taking a lot of harassment. The lower dance has to blink himself away. The Paran's team of the Slayer. No one, of course. No one's getting a bit more space now. There's TA coming up to 15 for 4, so catching up that Queen of Pain's farm on the 18 CS at the moment, 4 minutes in, thanks to the fact that Dazzle is hanging around. This matchup isn't actually so bad for TA because of the fact that Empire didn't feel the need to pull any sentries to Aloha Dance, so you're not going to be able to Shadow Strike that reliably, and no one has even opted to skip Melt for the time being, so you're just going to okay. go the standard 302 build, and this allows you to kill the Ancients a lot easier, which you can already see. There's a 3 stack on the side of Vega. 
looks like there could be some aggression yeah, here. Goku's coming. He's ready for a bit of a party. Gets the telekinesis onto Pashi Bash. He brings it back. He's still level 5 on the Ember. He has got the Flame Gun. Three points in it, so a fair bit of the damage being negated here. But they've still got the physical right clicks. It's not quite enough, though. And Pasha is going to be able to keep himself safe there. So, an unfortunate failed gank attempt there from Yoku. But it does force Ember back down the lane for a little bit. Still in the mid lane space being created here for no one. Now sitting on even CS here to the co-op. So, Seema the Slayer has certainly done his job on the Dazzle. Okay, he's been very active in the early game and still managing to get a lot more experience than Yoku right now, who still remains at level 1 almost 5 minutes in. It's it's an interesting move getting Yoku on the Rub Rubik, you know, we didn't expect it, we filled out on a bit of a giggle, bit of a laugh, they were going to swap themselves back round, but... I mean, on the plus side about this swap, a lot of Dance is doing well, you said he plays his mid a lot in his ranked games, and he's managing to stand up to no one. It is on even, even though there is a second hero in the middle of the side of Vape. Looks like Yoku's going to hang around mid, give Aloha Dance a little bit of space. Maybe when Aloha Dance hits that 6, gets that Sonic Wave online, they can try and go for a kill attempt. It's going to be slightly hard though, of course, with the Refraction and the Shallow Grave to bear in mind. So it's always going to be hard to try and find that kill mid. Top lane moving in onto Mag here. They're going to try and chase him down beyond the town. And Mana Void from Sinop will pick up the kill just as he hits level 6 at the perfect timing. This is a brilliant start from Empire. The movement so far has been a okay. Aloha Dance taking some damage here. Nice side blades coming out from no one. Getting him pretty low, but uh, a rune should be spawning soon, so I think he'll most likely be able to secure that. And as far as the early game goes, Empire farming on even terms and two out of their three lanes, and this task resolution is getting a ton out of this off lane. Dude, he's level six already with the six minute mark. I mean, this this is insane. Obviously, down to the facts as well, he was able to get first blood. That's always going to be nice. I mean, Solo is going pretty deep there with the wraparound, trying to harass him back. He has got the mana here for the combo. He's going to go for it. Shard straight up with the leader with the snowball. The light track comes out, though, and he's making all the fifth that he could have chewed as Pashri Bashu is there for the turnaround, and Solo was merely nothing more than just a bait. That was painful, not getting that kill. He actually was sitting on 1,000 gold. I think if he just waited out buying phase boots or, like, even treads, for example, a lot of offlane tusks used to buy that, he would have definitely oh, killed there. the kill then. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So it's kind like of even a... just having more mana for the Warriors punch, you know what I mean? He just yeah, yeah, yeah. And wants to do combo. Brown on the top lane is coming out from the... Getting themselves ready in a position. They want to punish this offlane Shaker more. He's doing all right in terms of levels. They found level five, but obviously not as good as the Tusk. Mid lane still seeing the Slayer coming out with a poison touch spam onto the Quap. It's still just the one point in it, so it's not too much of an issue now for this Quap, of course, with the bottle going. Should be all right in terms of regen. Radiant but yeah, Silence Farm, 43 CS on the anti mage. You've got 30 at the moment on the Pashi Bashu. Spirit, so fairly close in between them, but arguably overall Empire in a slightly better time. There's a Fisher coming out though, they found Yoku. From the trick he's gonna catch you on a very aggressive random forward and move the steering chains as well. He'll get the kill onto the Ruben. There's gonna be a TP out from no fit. They haven't got anything in time to cancel it, so the Wyvern will escape, but nonetheless, Vega do pick up a kill after Empire. Maybe looking for a bit too much of an aggressive action on the top lane. Well, I just like the fact that Vega are reacting to it. Again, their lineup comes online sooner. So you can't just sit around and let Empire be the ones forcing all the aggression. You kind of got to get them off your side of the map. Oh, that's and a nice light strike there with the bomb as well. It's not quite enough for the heals. The traps slow out here, but they can't really chase the Loha Dance that deep, especially with 450 Dance mana and just about. He could turn around with a quick one too with the Sonic Wave. Of course, that's free. No Fizz going to come around to the mid lane as well. Just so there's a bit of backup. Yeah, hasn't got any points yet in the Cold Embrace, so he won't be able to offer anything in terms of heal. I just got the two points here in the Splinter Blast and the one. Optic burn at the so obviously you optically aggress, but okay, he hadn't yet spent the level. Into the cotton race, just to give a little dance, a bit of a bit of a top up in terms of the health department. And it's in 3 2 at the moment, on lane. Yep. And resolution, make a movement forward, let's see if they can find anything. It's just the Ember Spirit is still down here, but he has, of course, got level 6, he's got those remnants available. So it's going to be a pretty tricky kill unless they can chain lock him up with the Telekinesis and with the Snowball Stern. And if they do do that, they've got a fair bit of burst. It is going to be hard to go on him, though, of course, when he's got the Flame Guard out, as it is now level 4. The Rubik being so low level is hurting them tremendously at this point. Like, being level 2 at 8.5 minutes, that is mega far behind. At this point, like, even being level 3 or 4 is considered, like, okay. Right now, no fear is pretty much sitting at that level 4, so... Like, he needs to find some way to get experience. I think now, yeah, he's gonna take some of the stack EXP from he Aloha Dance. He really needs it. Yeah, without this, he would just be having a horrendous start. I mean, the thing as well, this game, you know, having having that spell is gonna be pretty huge, because there's some really nice spells that you'd love to get his hands on from the side of Vega. Even just stealing Fissure is great. Just being interrupt or interrupting in a team fight, stopping a grave with a long-range Fissure has, like, no cast point, too. It's a great spell to be able to utilize, and pretty much anything he steals is going to be good this game. No fear. He's going to pop the Arctic Band straight away, decides to fly above the trees, trying to get himself out. Looks like they won't be able to chase. Shoku came in as well, just to fend off. 
aggression. Jay said no one's clearing up some of the ancients here. Continue at his network. Yoko got one. So they're getting a two man dragon slave. Blood trap as well onto No Fear. There is a lower dance there. The Fisher as well. No Fear is going to go down almost certainly. No, he gets the coin race out in time with the telekinesis. So no one in it puts it nicely over the Fisher. The dragon slave is still there though to find the kill onto the Wyvern. A lot of dance is going to turn with the Sony Wave. Burns the leader, but he walks into Mac. Mac with the Echo Slam. Hasn't quite got enough damage to deal with this one. The Fisher is going to walk it off. There'll be a Fisher as well. Yeah, he realizes he can't go for it. Max sort of get himself out of there. Lower dance boiling up. Won't be able to dive forward though because there is a dance there. He's going to be a bit well, aware of the shallow grave possibilities. But that's just a bit Tempo, 10 minutes in, Andy. Oh, it was a very nice reaction from Pasha, like just realizing that he can get those kills in that situation. I, I think the thing that fits Ember so well right now into the current meta is his ability to just throw out insane amounts of burst damage like that. You think of heroes like Gyro, but Gyro doesn't actually hold you in place, it's just a slow. Whereas Ember can go in and he can set up stuns for his team, you know, oh, it's yeah. just a oh, very yeah. reliable counter gank, and he is so much faster than a Gyro as well, being able to get into position like that. Gyro would have not counter ganked as effectively as an Ember in that situation. And this is the great thing, you know, after doing that, because the Melissi with the global potential, he's back to farming, 1600 gold now. He is still behind the anti mage, and anti mage, of course, 5300 gold, closing in on that Battle Fury on top of the treads. So Silent's going to have a pretty decent timing on that. And I mean, that is going to be a slight issue, because if it does get to the late stages where this AM is stacked, I don't know if a TN Ember can deal with it. Well, they can. It's just a matter of how much Vega can do during the mid-game, right? Like, Ember yeah, is... about the mid-game. Right? Ember is more of, like, a, a spread damage hero for a really long time, until he starts getting, like, a Daedalus up after a Battle Fury. And some of the Embers even opt to go for stuff like Manta in between, just to make sure they're not going to get hard counted out by, like... Perhaps an Orchid coming in, if that was going to be the choice from Aloha Dance. Yeah, what's he like. going for so far? He's probably going Yules, Orchid, that's my straight guess. Straight up Yules. Alright, okay. But, I think that at a certain stage, the Ember starts to eclipse what the AM can do in fights, because he just does so much more damage, so much faster. But during probably like 25 to maybe even 40 minutes, that's when the AM is just going to have so much farm that you can't just straight up kill him anymore. I mean, uh, talking about farm and, and item progression, do you reckon the TA is going to be going for the Desso first or the Blink first this game? I think... Honestly, I think Desso is still really good. Okay. But you're going to get both no matter what. There's a live strike here, but Solo's the one in trouble. Snowball straight up resolution. There's two there to back him up. Solo! We'll get up for the Green Blade, but that's going to be it. Now, because he's been rotating, he's going to slide up his two. Chester 2 with the Roman for bringing them low. There'll be a corner pace here on no fear. He's taking out the Blade while damage and will get slashed down there by 9 Pashi Bashu. A lower dance will be able to blink himself away. So it is just a one-for-one one trade there, support for support, but obviously that was Empire committing three heroes to the rotation, and that... No, nothing to cancel it. Yoku, he knows what he's doing, so just a one-one there. Jungle. More now, Mag. Gets with the shard, so maybe this resolution trapped him with him. Mag just giving him a slap, he's got the fish to follow through as well, he's gonna need some backup. It is coming in as we see Dazzle, and then we're rotating forward. Now the Searing Chase comes down onto Resolution, he's not getting himself out of this one, they'll kill the Tusk in return. Radiance a lot of topsy-turvy action going on around this point as both teams Radiance going pretty damn ham and silent. Looking for a free tier one in this top lane, it's going to be a T3 for now, Flashy Bash, he's a step by the side. Ember's better off taking this tower, he's going to get it. Silent's got that done, he's got himself a Battle Fury now, 30 minutes. Let's be careful. Um, okay, he's fine. Okay, not quite enough damage still. He's a, le he's a level 2 mana void. How was he working out this? Enough to kill the so. He would have had to hit him like probably three or four more times, I think, to get that kill. And not chasing me the tier two is a good decision. Like, considering his battle fury just got delivered when he was taking that fight, if he dies as soon as he finishes it, that's like one of the. Okay, obviously dying before battle fury is bad. But dying right after you get it is arguably worse because that's the part where your farm is supposed to start accelerating. And speaking of, we can see no one here taking some more stacks, and he is going for the straight deso. Okay. I think this is very solid. It allows you to take a really good fight and then easily take Roshan afterwards. It's one of the strengths of having a TA on your team. Dude, there's a smoke up from Vega there, ready to go straight in. Bashy Bash, you need him. Oh. I'd love to find Silent, but they're actually heading towards the mid lane. There is a Sonic Wave backup on Quap. She does have the backup of Wyvern hanging. Let's see what they're able to do. He's going to reveal it here as he jumps straight forward. That's blink straight away, realizing that there's some funky business going on on this side of the map. Gonna see no fit, just creating the stacks of the ancients here. Anti mage. Looks like Vega won't find anything with his smoke here. I don't know. I'm just reacting to it. 
Ping down to the bottom lane to try and take another tier one here from the tower. At the same time, Vega just realized they're not going to find a kill, so at the least, they'll get themselves a tier one in the mid. I really like the movement from Silent in this game. It's very attractive as an anti-mage player to sit where you can farm effectively and not take away farm from your team. So for example, sitting in your own woods, but he just realizes how dangerous that can be and bombs to stick with his team. The A team, everybody teeping in. There's also some movement down the river. They'll get the traps off. Now moving forward. So what you find is now gets up to the pit, but now the winter skills are telling the zoning wave as well. Venus now, back in the They will be able to get out of the with a fish as well. He's shelling right up as well. He's gonna be fine. Walks himself off. It's a one more time. It's a two for one for Vega, and it doesn't look like Empire can find anything else off the back of that, so they're gonna have to leave that by a man down. Vega coming out on top there. But yeah. Nine Pashi Bashu continues to be very effective on this Ember Spray. We've got to look at his KDA at the moment. Yeah, seven kills, zero deaths, one assist. This is a very active Ember. Yeah, he's been crazy active. I thought he missed his fans at first, but I guess he just only hit the Wyvern there. Playing this very aggressive. Vega for sure want to be applying pressure at this point in the game. They have the same Dazzle. No they one. They're onto no one here. I mean, Resolution's going straight in, the refresh is up, so Warus Punch isn't going to do a lot. Pashu Bashu now moving in, see if he can catch anyone out here with the chains. He's found no fear, he's going to use it. Arctic Burn comes out, but he's already trapped to the wide with the heal bomb with the fish to the face. They'll find the cursed dragon, and now they'll look for Resolution chasing him down. The team is coming from a low heart down, so he doesn't have a sonic wave. No one is still hanging around, there's going to be a big blink onto Night Pashu Bashu. No one mana now with the stuff of the Warus Punch and the snowball coming through, but Night Pashu Bashu is going to go down. Resolution's going to be fine. We are going to get onto but he blinks away just in time with the ball charge as well. He's going to keep himself top top. So just uh, losing the Ember Spirit there, they may lose more. But even a bit of a precarious position. See if the Slayer's going to get taken down by Yoko. And that's getting the Earthshaker as well there. Both heroes getting taken down. Double kill for Yoku. And uh, some very messy fights so far. I mean, 11 for 11. And it just seems to be both teams overextending a little bit too much on uh, the respective halves of the map. Well, Vega definitely went ham there. They were diving into tier 2 territory. And at 60 minutes into the game, maybe a little bit over aggressive, I think. As soon as they start heavily TP reacting, like Empire had almost everyone there, right? Just back up, maybe look to take one smoke. If you get a pick or two, you can go kill Roshan. During that fight, no one finished up his Desolator. I feel like that was just... I mean, obviously it was over-aggression, right? Like, they just thought they were stronger than they were, and as soon as Pasha died, that was just runaway moment. Believe for Vega. With that Desso, they know that they can take structures pretty nicely. It's gonna be... Shiloh! Like Boosted up by a lower dance. They're out the follow up to lock him in place. Yoku's trying to get him ready for telekinesis. He's chasing down Solo here, but he's not going to be able to close the gap. Solo's going to be fine. He got a Vlad's now done on AM, so still, as all of this goes on, Silence Farm is increasing pretty nicely. Yeah, he's managing to keep up very well in terms of CS. He's still at roughly about 10 a minute, which is fantastic for him. And Roshan being done here by Vega. This is a very Low risk Roshan as the A takes pretty much no damage. Meld and Desso, far too much for the old Roshan to deal yeah. with. And yeah, there's going to be no reaction from Empire. Even if they're where they was going on, they would not be able to get there in time. And this is going to also be the money in the pocket for TA to pretty much get that blink boost. That's what uh, that next time is going to be on you. And she'll have that as well. And this is exactly the kind of timing that the TA needs if they be able to deal with the A. Maybe even. Tower and this is the scary attack. point in the game for the anti-mage, because even with the Vlads, you have about 15 armor, which isn't a bad amount, but between Meld and Desolator, it's minus 15, right? So you pretty much go down to zero armor as soon as the TA touches you with the Meld Strike, and AM is pretty durable against magic, but minus armor owns him at this stage in the game. Actually, stuff like obviously the Dazzle with the as well, it's going to be very hard for Science to turn up to these fights, and at this point he really just has to offer kind of that split pushing, very farm orientated fighting where he just he just doesn't turn up because every time he turns up, he's almost certainly going to die at this point. He just has to be very careful with his blinking if he's going to be going to fights. Like once you see a Meld Strike come out and maybe no one is committed to the fight you can go in, maybe go for a support like the Dazzle or the Lena. But if you try to go in before you see the TA and you blink and the TA blinks on you, you will die like 100% of the time. And unless you have a really, really clutch cold embrace or curse coming out Dyer's from your weapon, so for now, I think Empire are going to be content to wait out that Aegis, try to let Vega make a mistake, maybe try to play too aggressive like they did previously when they were pushing bottom. And the nice thing is, too, they just got Yoku with his blink dagger going. Yoku with the blink, Radiant's resolution, of course, with the mech on the tusk, so they're, they're certainly at a good Dyer's go time as well and in a position where they can attack. fight without the AM. Looks a fine pick-offs elsewhere. 
Baker into positions Radiant's that's gonna give AM this position. He's just areas on the map where Radiant's he's gonna be free to farm top lane. You got Seema, Mag, and no one's starting to work away this tower with the Desto as well. They should be able to find it pretty quick. Dyer's structure is under attack. 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 Dyer's structure is
Jules has stun. It's going to be duked out by the second Jules from Alibar Dunn. But the final series changed that damage from no one. It's a double kill for the TA. Empire now with four heroes on the deck. Baker starting to break away here. Fortifications come out 24 minutes here on the tier 3 push. And Baker just going to stick around with the amount of sustain they've got with this dazzle. I don't think they give out this push anytime soon. And this could be a set of racks very early on in the game. Uh, I think the queen buys back. I think they fight this. Or no, they don't. They're going to give it away. Wow, okay. Who's going to lean in? They've already lost the melee racks in. That's yet to buy back. Oh, he's just hit it. Resolution takes it in the goodness of the face. Silent, we're going to mana point out. The Silent Grave is there. And now they just turn their attention towards the anti mage. No one's died down on the side of Baker. They finally lose Solo here on the leader. The Ramazzi fought. No match of match is not done. And no one gets himself a double kill. He'll get Silent for a while. It's a triple kill here for the Templar Assassin. And no one just doing so much damage and so much for the team at this point. 4.7k gold in his bank now. But look for the tier 3 here in the top lane. Seam of the Slayer, Mag, and no one moving in. Half health already, and this is looking a bit rocky for Empire. I don't know what they're going to have to answer this. They do have the crop back up for 50 seconds without the anti mage. And Baker found the opening in this game in the mid game, as we talked about. And they played this absolutely perfectly. I think it was just a lot of mistakes for Empire, honestly. Like, okay, deals. That's telekinesis. Hello, announce. We'll be able to get the blink off there. Resolution goes in for a very aggressive punch. He's got the snowball, but no one. He's going to be ready to give his man. And those small mistakes adding up to a pretty brisk ending there for Empire. So there was a huge amount of miscommunication in this game during the last five minutes. Yeah. So first thing that happens, right, they reveal a smoke that actually gives them a really great position to be able to get away and continue delaying the game, right? Which is pretty much what Empire had been trying to do for some time after Vega had taken Roshan. So they had that fiasco with Meld striking the illusion, breaking the smoke. It's like, okay, that wasn't great from Vega, but it's fine. They still have their mid-game timing. And then Silent decides to farm like right next to where they were just about to fight. Yes. And then dies. And I'm like, okay, even that's fine, right? Like, okay, you died, whatever. You don't have buyback. You have 60 seconds. It's not that long. You know, you could probably still defend mid. And then Queen dies. And I'm like, okay, you have buyback. It's still fine. And then he, just and then he doesn't buy back to defend. But I think Yoku thought he was going to buy back. Because he goes forward and lifts, right? And he starts to fight. Like, okay, come on, buy back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, probably, him. he thinks that Aloha Dance is going to buy back and help him, but he doesn't. So then he dies. And then it's like, well, we just lost like half of our team in the course of two minutes without actually taking anyone from the side of Vega down. And they had Urn and a Dazzle for sustain. There was actually no incentive for Vega to back at all. They just snowballed and won the game. That was literally the, the one by one die lose game strategy. It was not great yeah. for Empire and uh, Vega Squadron. We talked about the fact that it's well at ESL New York, as we're staying, still very much on form. Yes. No one on his TA, seven kills, six assists, and died to that game. It was an impressive game, to say the least, and I gotta say, Empire didn't necessarily play bad either. It was just that five-minute stint of, we made a handful of mistakes, and then... Oh, yeah. I mean, Vega's team was just built to end the game at that point anyway. Yes. Like, they had the capability of doing that, and Empire just made those mistakes. It was very much an on-and-off game in the sense that it was kind of flat.